All right, so hi everyone. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something similar to another video that I've done. Um, but instead of this time, we're, instead of Sonic, we're gonna be doing a Splatoon this time. Uh, I have, this is, this is not, at first when I was gonna make this video, I thought that I was gonna be doing my entire Splatoon collection, but that was gonna be a lot. And even though this video might still be long, I still wanted to, I don't know, I think it was pretty unnecessary to show literally everything because most of it is like fan merchandise um, and some of it is stuff that I've already shown. So if I've done a video about it, there most likely it's not going to be in this video. Um, so I'm just going to be doing things that I can talk about, that I can say things about, that I can, you know, I, or just share a story about. <laughs> Um, and start things off, I just want to say how unlucky I was <laughs> when it came to actually getting Splatoon. Um, when I would- I got Splatoon summer before my senior year of high school. Um, and it was- it was great, <laughs> but that didn't- but that- it didn't come without some challenges. Uh, pretty much it started with, like, I haven't had- I didn't have a Wii U until, like, that few months, like, like that June. <laughs> um, this was, like, 2016, I think. Um, and I did not have an HD TV at that point, so I couldn't plug in the Wii U. <laughs> um, unless I found, like, unless we went out again and, fi and found some, like, uh, component cables. Um, but then, like, when I finally got an HD TV and we got Splatoon, um, my mom bought it brand new from Walmart. It was like factory sealed and everything. Uh, and I opened the case and there was no disc inside. <laughs> there was no disc inside. No absolutely nothing. And I, we were like, what the hell? <laughs> so that was, that was kind of weird. And of course some difficulties came when Splatoon 2 came out, but it really wasn't as bad as getting my Wii U. Uh, and it really wasn't bad, like, it was all taken care of immediately. It really wasn't a big deal, but it's still kind of funny to look back at now. So, as always, um, here's the original game. I remember spending that entire summer playing this, and it was awesome. Uh, there's a disc right there. I'm sure people watching this video know what's, knows what the disc is like. Uh, and in Japan, if you ordered... Splatoon from a, from a certain uh, 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 store chain. Um, my friend explained this to me. It was like a it's a, it's a store chain that had like a um, that had like a branch for just video games, like a different store. It's, it's like a website that you go on and, uh, for mostly video games. But uh, I, I might put the logo up on the screen. But if you ordered that from them. Uh, you you would get this. This is a uh, very wrinkly, but that's okay. <laughs> it's still sealed, so the towel is okay. But um, this is a uh, handkerchief of uh, the Squid Sisters. If you play Splatoon one, you might see them like in the uh, in the uh, in the billboards in the game in the back. Um, I have actually had this hanging up uh, in the corner of my room because it's it's just, it looks awesome and it's like <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a weird interesting item and for the life of me I could not figure out where this came from like where like when was this distributed I was like was this commercially available was this given out was this a pre-order bonus and I spent like a few hours researching and my friend found it like immediately <laughs> so so yeah that's the story of that uh, let me see here let's see I might do this I might uh, pause the video for a sec this takes me back. This was something that I got like right after I got Splatoon. I was full on in the in the Splatoon craze. This is a, a game. This is like a case for your uh, for the Wii U gamepad, um, and it's not on my Wii U gamepad right now. But I'll get into that. And it's well, there's really not much to say except it's a case for the gamepad. Um, I actually haven't like looked in this in a while, um, and there's a reason why I took it off my, uh, my gamepad. Yeah, that's right. Um, this, this takes me back. See, there's a, the paint is rubbing off. That's really weird. And it started doing that in like, I don't know. I think I, I just, I didn't really want to watch it deteriorate. <laughs> so I just, I took it off. I, 
I actually remember I've I had this on my Wii U for like the longest time, um, and I just I just took it off because it was rubbing off and it feels like flaky right here. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about, but that really bothered me. So I just I put it I took it off and just now it just sits in my room. <laughs> it's still an, it's still an interesting item though, and it's kind of funny looking back at how like nuts I was for Splatoon. <laughs> Definitely one of the biggest um, collector, I don't know what words I'm trying to use. Probably one of the biggest parts of Splatoon collecting is that is definitely the Amiibos. Um, a lot of them are really expensive nowadays, and a lot of them are sought after, of course. <laughs> uh, and these are the original Amiibos that came out. Um, in America they came out in a uh, three pack, but also singular packs. Um, but in America, it was only uh, the Inkling Boy and the Inkling Girl that came out in their own packs. Um, the Inkling Squid was ex exclusive to the to the, um, to, to the three pack, but of course I took the extra route and I bought. I think I bought this guy first, and I bought this and I <laughs> I got him before I even had Splatoon. <laughs> um, so that's yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of funny. Um, and then I got the girl, and then. I went to Amazon and I imported this guy because in Japan this guy is in the, its own single uh, uh, bubble card. Um, it's 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 sold separately in Japan. So I thought that was really interesting. So I so I imported him from Japan and I have this little import box in the other room, which is kind of neat. But um, yeah, so those are the original three amiibos. And then and then you know there's the stars. Okay, let's just them around. Kelly and Marie. Uh, these are obviously my favorite Amiibos, um, and I kind of went a little bit crazy. Uh, I went a little crazy with these. These are my original ones. These are, these I got the day that they came out, um, but then I also got <laughs> a boxed one. I don't know how much this is worth. It's probably worth like a lot of money now. <laughs> I, I've read somewhere that these sell for like a hundred dollars, which is nuts. So I don't know, maybe if I like, maybe, maybe if I'm about to die, I'll let this go. <laughs> uh, and then one weird thing happened is that the same day, I think it was the same day, I could be wrong, but the same day that the Kelly and Marie Amiibos came out, uh, they went all Sonic OC. <laughs> And released three colors of the original three amiibos. And um, these, if you're wanting to get Splatoon amiibos, only get these if you're really into just like completing the collection like I was. Um, but other than that, don't get these because they really don't do anything new. I mean, if you play Splatoon 2, then you know that, that, that amiibos can store outfits. So if you have like a lot of outfits to store, then I guess. <laughs> But other than that, like when when these came out, it was only Splatoon one, and and Splatoon one it really really didn't do anything new. Um, what the original Ami Amiibos did was that they they unlocked um, special missions from the story mode, and you can get like outfits and weapons, and um, these do the exact same thing. As a matter of fact, if you if you like say you put this guy on, and you did some of the story missions with him, and then you switched out with this guy. And then you did. And then when you looked at his menu, those exact story missions will be completed. So it's like it, it's it's not like anything new. They're just different versions of the exact same amiibos. It's really strange. I don't know why Nintendo did this. <laughs> I really have no idea why they released these. Um, they're kind of pointless in my opinion. But they still look okay. Like um, they still look good. Like I like the gold on this guy's shoes. Um, but still, it's like why they don't do they don't bring anything new. You know, functionality-wise, I guess they're just like for collectors. I really don't know, or maybe they have like extra stock. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't. I. I don't know. The fun thing about these is that in Japan, if you uh, if you pre-ordered these, um, you would get this cool little bonus, which is a uh, Squid Sisters um, um, a cleaning cloth. And you can see this is also still in the wrapper, and you can I think there's the. Yeah, it says Amiibo right there. If it'll focus... There we go. <laughs> that took a while. Uh, but yeah, it says, it says Amiibo. Um, and you would get that if you pre-ordered uh, the Squid Sister Amiibo. I think it just like period in Japan. Um, and you can also see that it's like a Japanese box. So right there, it's, it's matching. Yeah, yeah, I totally pre-ordered this. I totally didn't buy this separately on eBay at like 3 a.m. No, no, that that's... I got this from Japan, that's right. Yep, that's that's uh, that's right. 
Now the wait for Splatoon 2 was honestly kind of painful. Uh, uh, I remember when it was first announced and I was like, I need it now. Uh, it's all the new things, all the new character interactions, all the new characters and just all the new stuff. I was crazy about Splatoon and then Splatoon 2 released and I went nuts. And this, honestly, like I waited so long for this. So when, so for my birthday in like 2017, uh, my stepdad says, hey, my present to you is I pre-ordered Splatoon 2, so, you, so you're gonna get it the day of. And I was like, yes, cool. <laughs> um, so the day comes and I am losing my mind in, in anticipation. I'm like, please, I need this game. Uh, and I think that year, uh, Amazon opened a new warehouse in my town and they were and they're still like you know trying to get things to work properly and stuff they were still getting used to things so it's this took forever like um back then I had like this mindset that the that the mail came around like tw to 12 to 2 p.m and I and after like 4 p.m I was getting really worried <laughs> like really worried that it wasn't gonna come. <laughs> Um, and I remember my dad got home at, at like around five and he was all excited like, so how is it? And I just, I didn't have it. And I, and I gave him like the, this look <laughs> and he was like, why isn't he in here? And I'm like, I don't know. So yeah. So I finally did get it. It did come that day and Amazon let me know. Um, and I think in, in the middle of all that, I ordered this as well. This is a switch case. <laughs> Uh, it's that's really all it is. It's a switch case Not a very good one in my opinion, but um, It also ha it also had a uh, game card pack which actually I used for a while and only held like film four memory cards But I don't know what I want to do with this. I guess it's just I just I was so excited for Splatoon 2 that I uh, I got this I think it also actually you know what it did also come with a, a, a little analog stick grips for your uh, Joy-Cons and they're on my Switch right now, so... Um, so yeah, there, there's there's that. Um, I still, at least, at least this pack had something good going on for it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, moving on. I honestly forget, forget when I bought this, but um, it's still a cool little Joy-Con grip that I use from time to time. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about it is that um, this right here, it's it cuts off too much from the, like like this doesn't fit the Joy-Con. Um, that's only like a little weird. Like uh, here, I bought my Joy-Cons, and you can actually see, you can see the little uh, grips that I mentioned. Um, so yeah, these are my Joy-Cons right now, and uh, you can see that it's like a weird gap. I don't know why it's made like that. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just it's weird that there's like a. You know that there's like a weird like space in between where you're yeah I don't know if it w that's a little strange but it still looks really cool like I really like it I really like it like that so yeah those are my little uh, grips and the Joy-Con grip I don't know what these are called but they're both called grips um, so yeah that's cool so while I was waiting for Splatoon 2 to release, um, the, the exact same, or not to release, to come to my house, <laughs> uh, uh, that same day that Splatoon 2 released, um, the Amiibo is also released, um, but I remember watching the direct while these were announced and I was just, I was beside myself in excitement. <laughs> I can't tell you how much, how excited I was for Splatoon 2, it was, it was, it was insane. Um, and luckily, uh, I asked my dad, I was like, hey, can we, like, go out to Target? Because there's also Amiibos that I want to look for. And he was like, yeah, sure. So we went out, and I was so surprised. I was ready to, like, not find them. But um, I found, I actually did find these two, which I would expect would be the ones that weren't, that were, like, sold out. Um, but no, my Target had them. And there was a lot of people in that store what that day. Um, and uh, I remember there all there was also like a big like uh, kiosk not, not 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 a kiosk like a big standee for Splatoon too. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna steal this. <sighs> I didn't steal it, but yeah. So I was really surprised to find these. Um, and then I also and then I got this guy on Amazon like a few days later, of course. Um, buying on Amiibos on Amazon is just such like a long shot, but you know that's. I was very lucky. I think I bought it like a few minutes after he went, like, after uh, he was stocked. So, yeah, there's that. And then, later, um, 
there was the Pearl and Marina Amiibos, of course. I think it was the Ju I think it was the July of the next year that these released. Um, these are very good. These are very, very well made Amiibos. Like Nintendo really stepped their Amiibo game up. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. There's Pearl and Marina. Pearl and Marina. I don't have box versions of those, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, uh, last December, um, these kids released. These are for the DLC of Octo Expansion. I am not the me and Octo Expansion have a love hate relationship. I'm not the biggest fan of Octo Expansion, but I love these amiibos. These these, these are probably my favorite amiibos. Um, I love the Octolings, and these ami amiibos are insanely well done. Um, they have a lot of really small parts, but you know what? They're really flexible and they don't break off or anything. And I don't feel like they're going to snap off or anything is what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, so there's uh, there's these Amiibos. These are really, really cool. And um, usually, I'm going to be honest, I really don't... <laughs> I don't care about the about the squid or, or octoling forms, but like the way, like the evolution of like the splash, the spider effect. Like, I think this one's my favorite because like this, this Amiibo is so well done. Like, that's crazy. That's like, that's really cool looking. And then um, shor shortly after uh, the uh, Octoling, I think it was shortly after, shortly after, shortly um, before, um, uh, Smash Bros. had released. And of course, with new, a new Smash Bros. game, came new Amiibos. And this is the Inkling Amiibo for Smash. Um, this counts for my Splatoon Amiibos. So yes, I have every single Splatoon Amiibo. I'm not bragging, I'm just sharing. <laughs> Humble brag. Um, this one's really cool, and I think the difference between the first one and the new one is pretty interesting. Like, she has a little darker skin, and uh, her joint, her, her limbs are a lot thinner. I think they had, like, more confidence in the plastic that they're producing these guys in. Like, you know, and I can totally see that happening. Um, there's a lot, there's a, you would think that this that this amiibo is fragile, but it's really not. Uh, they're really sturdy. So uh, yeah, th those are all the amiibos. We finally got through all, all the amiibos, and now let's move on. I do uh, more than I would ever be able to. Um, I actually, I've, I've been, I, I actually use this controller usually whenever I play it on my TV. Um, it's really, it, the Pro controller is really good, um, and I, I loved how you can see like the logos and the etchings on the uh, Pro Controller. Like that's that's really cool looking. Um, I actually got this on Amazon, and the and Pro Controllers are around eighty dollars, I think. Um, like the MSRP, like regular Pro Controllers. So this was eighty bucks, um, but I paid a, like a little bit more um, because I found I bought this on Amazon. And apparently, um, the Switch Pro this this certain Pro Controller is discontinued, as you can see on that little label right there. Um, so I don't know how easy this is to find now, but I got this like a little after it was discontinued. I'm just gonna assume that. Um, so yeah, yeah, like on Amazon when I, when I bought this it was labeled as discontinued. So I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna buy it now, screw it. So this is a really good controller and it's a really nice addition to my Splatoon collection, that's for sure. And then the, there's these bad boys, yes, oh my. Uh, I bought this for fun. <laughs> Um, and if you, if nobody knows, uh, these are notoriously bad. <laughs> um, they're not bad headphones, it's just the way that they've been made are really bad. And it's really spe- it's really, it's also really sad because, like, these are really cool headphones. Um, and the ideas that they have are really great, but they're not good headphones. Um, I wear glasses, and I cannot wear these without having to take my glasses off. It's really weird. Just because of the way that it curves. And if you don't know, these are actually the headphones of um, the Inkling Boy in-game. Or like, you know, like the box art Inkling Boy. Um, so you can, this is actually like an actual item in-game. So it's just, it's cool that like this is like a real life item in Splatoon that you can wear. Um, I'm sure people would like use it for like cosplay or something. But uh, yeah, so here's the headphones. Go. And then there's also like this weird uh, peripheral that they made. Yeah, here it is. This is a extender, I think. Yeah, it's like a audio jack extender. And then there's this thing. I don't don't ask me. I don't know how I don't know how they thought this was a good idea or like how it even is supposed to work. <laughs> but um, if you look in the 
back here, you're supposed to connect the headphone jack from the headphones in this end, and then you connect one of these ends onto your phone and one onto your switch. And it's just like this mess of cords and cables. And this is this was made for Nintendo Online and for um, chatting on the Nintendo Online app. So there, our heart was in the right place. But uh, and then one thing that's really awesome about this pack is that it has switchable parts. So if you want to change like the ink color on these on these headphones, uh, you can. So you just switch that out. There we go. Pop that on there. Let me see if that's. It is not. They have right and left labeled on them. There we go. Here's the. Here's the left one. So this one will actually fit. There we go. And you can just have that color on, and you can switch it out. If I can get it out. There we go. And there we go, they're red now. So that's really cool. I thought that was really neat. I thought that was like amazing. Um, that was a really cool little detail that they added. Um, but yeah, I can't wear these and I can't use these. I just, so basically this is like a gag kind of thing. <laughs> uh, so um, unless you're a crazy Splatoon collector, I really don't recommend these because it's like, it's not well, it's not really well thought out and there's a lot of jokes surrounding it <laughs> when it was first announced. Also the Splatoon, also the um, the Japanese box for this is like cooler, so man, what the hell. Anyway, let's move on. There's a lot of Splatoon plushies out there, but um, I only have four, and uh, here is Callie and Marie. These are my favorites, um, and not to be like weird or anything, but I take them, I take them with me whenever I go out to like long trips. Um, They've been across the country with me. They've been with me a lot. <laughs> uh, so I care a lot about these plushies. Um, and I think when I went to, when I got my first job, my first paycheck I got, I spent on these. I don't know how much money I spent, but I want to say it was at least like 80 to 70, 80 bucks for both of them. I bought them separately. <laughs> um, and there's really there's this picture that I took of Marie, and it's like the poor Kelly arrived, and it's really sad. Anyway, and it's the plot of Splatoon 2 in a nutshell. Anyway, um, uh, a few months ago, I think earlier this year, there was also the Pearl and Marina plushies that released. So uh, there we go. There's Pearl and Marina, and there's all the idols. Marina, well, there we go. And also because I'm just that kind of person. I saved their tags. So here's uh, here's Callie's tag. There's Marie's tag. There's Pearl's tag. And there's uh, Marina's tag. Uh, and um, people have been saying, I've actually seen people mistake, it, mistake uh, some of these plushes for bootlegs. And um, the fact of the matter pretty much is uh, um, if you look in the like for Kelly and Marie, um, they were re-released um, for America for America by a different company called uh, Little Buddy, and if you look in the back of this tag, um, you can see the logo for Sine right there, the little teddy bear. Uh, um, those are the Japanese plushes. Um, that should be obvious because of Japanese names. Um, and you can the main difference is you can tell because of their earrings. Um, their earrings are like. These foam cutout pieces that are like shiny and, um, but uh, little buddy has has like uh, just pieces of like cloth like taped around the their ears. The earrings look different, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, there's there's that. So yeah, plushies. Uh, I don't really have any interest in getting the other two. Um, not other two, there's like seven more and there's there's all kinds of squid plushies. But uh, there's there's more plushies, but I'm not really interested in, in them. I just want the- I'm fine with these four. Uh, so let's move on. Splatoon has a lot of really, really good music. Um, so they had- they were able to release some CDs. Uh, here's the soundtrack for the first game, uh, Splatoon. 
Uh, this is all of the songs and plus some sound effects. Um, this is a really cool CD. Um, there's two discs and you can also swap some of the uh, album covers. So there's some album covers that you can switch. So there's uh, Squid Sisters and then there's Tutti Octavio and then there's... I think this is called Squid... I think this is Squid Squad? I could be wrong. Someone's gonna correct me. And this is Turquoise October. I think that's the name. Again, I could be wrong. I could just be mis misremembering. So yeah, there's that. Here we go. And <clears throat> here's the disc with Judd on it. Here's the other. Here's the other disc. And there's a little inkling. Uh, so yeah, that's Splatoon. That's the first CD. And then I think the second CD that was released was the uh, the live soundtrack. This is when uh, Callie and Marie performed Hatsune Miku style. Um, in front of the live audience, and they're like, they're like hologram models. It's like gorillas. It's like Kelly and Marie are gorillas. Um, and there's the disc. I love the disc because it's like the, it's like this, the Splatoon 1 Wii U disc, but it's Kelly and Marie squids instead. And there's a uh, Kelly and Marie on the, uh, on the back of the CD. Um, and the booklet, uh, has like, uh, all these doodles. Like the booklet is, um, to show off like the um, uh, their their lines, their voice lines throughout the concert, so you can see how like they're like talking back and forth. And there's also like little doodles um, of Kelly Murray by the official Splatoon artist guy. They're really really cute, and they're probably my favorite thing about this. Um, so yeah, that's this is my favorite CD, obviously, but. Uh, And then I have one more CD that I spent a pretty penny for. Um, this is the deluxe version of the Octotune soundtrack. Uh, this has a lot of Pearl and this is a lot of off the hook stuff. So yeah, here's Octotune. Um, Octotune is probably my favorite Splatoon soundtrack, despite how much I really don't like Octo Expansion. Um, and there's Agent 8 on this side. There's Pearl and Marine on this side. I love these discs. They're so good. They're so good looking. Um, this pro these are definitely my favorite CDs. I love CDs, but these are my favorite. Um, there's a track list. Uh, Splatoon, like Octotune's, Octotune is so good. It's like my favorite one. Um, and the reason this one is deluxe is not because Kelly and Marie are on the back, but because it had um, a Blu-ray of the uh, Live in Mokuhari. Uh, could be pronouncing that wrong. Um, this, is the, this is the second Live in Mokuhari that was released. Uh, yeah, so there's like where they all performed. Um, I think this was off the hook's first concert, but uh, Callie and Marie made a, made an appearance, and then um, and then they also have a CD for uh, Splatoon 2. Obviously, I don't have that one though. Um, and they also have uh, a CD for Pearl and Marina solo uh, performance, um, but I don't have that either. That one that one came out recently, I think. Um, Maybe one day I'll get both of those CDs. So let's let's uh, let's move on. There's all kinds of Splatoon goodies, and these are these are some uh, official acrylic keychains. Um, this was released for the first game, obviously. And here's a uh, an Octoling. There we go, Octoling. And here's a uh, a boy with a with a charger. Very nice, very very nice. Here's Jud. Before Little Judd was a thing. It's a very good keychain. And then here is Krusty Sean, my favorite. Krusty Sean is my favorite uh, shopkeeper. Uh, and I love how he's in the second game as well, not like forgotten like the other characters. Like Annie. Well, Annie isn't forgotten. It's it's uh, Jill Onzo that's forgotten. Anyway, uh, this one I showed off in one of my previous videos, um, but I love it so much, so here it is again. Um, I still have not found the other keychains. Um, one day. I, I honestly haven't been acti actively looking, but maybe one day. Um, that will definitely be a promise. Um, those are really hard to find, but I will find them one day. One day. One day. Just kidding, I lied. Uh, here's some... Still in the wrapper. Uh, this is Spike. 
Um, this was a complete surprise. I did not buy this uh, by itself, but I bought this. Um, I, di I, I didn't buy this, but I bought something on a website called Otaku Republic. Um, I'm sure some people who are fucking weebs um, have bought from there before. Uh, but yeah, this is like a freebie and this is like a really expensive like this is like a really old keychain I got it like a few months ago um, And I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. So he's just been in the wrapper um, and It's fucking Spike. Spike is one of the best characters um, and then My friend found this for me um, It was really cool. Um, this is one of the rare uh, Examples of Squid Sisters merchandise. Um, they, these are probably gonna stay in the wrapper um and I think we got- I think this came from France? It's we- I th yeah. We bought it and it came from France. So this thing has been to- from Japan to France, not to the States. So these have been on my bulletin board, um, and they're gonna stay in the wrapper probably, um, until who knows when. Um, but these are really, really cool items in my collection. I love them a lot. Yes. Okay, this is something that's probably gonna get a video of its own one day. Um, I actually did try to make a video of it um, when I first opened it, but stuff broke, believe it or not. <laughs> I broke things live on camera. Um, but some of the th some of the parts in this weren't like glued right, but, uh, and it was a big thing, like I was unwrapping everything and I don't know, I might not do any more like brand new un unboxing videos. I might just unbox them when I've already unboxed them. So uh, yeah, that's probably for the best. Um, this is insane. This is like uh, one of the coolest items, definitely, um, for a Splatoon, like not just me, but any Splatoon collector. Um, this is the Figma. This is the deluxe version. Um, the regular version only has the Inkling, the, the Splatoon 1 Inkling, but the deluxe is, has, an, has, an, has an exclusive Splatoon 2 Inkling. Um, and the flap here uh, doesn't stay closed, so I, ha so I have to tape it. Um, here they are. They're awesome. This box is awesome. I love it. <laughs> um, so there they are in the box. Um, this is a really, really, really cool box. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna save them probably for another time. Um, and also, just recently, uh, Inkling Boys were announced, and there's also gonna be a deluxe version. <laughs> So I'm saving up for that, that's for sure. And maybe we'll do a video about that when it comes out, definitely. We're definitely gonna be doing a video about that. <clears throat> okay, so we're almost done here. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice cracking. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I have one more thing that I, I, I like to talk about. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most pointless part of my Splatoon collection. But um, if anybody knows, uh, Splatoonas has its own manga, and it has like its own like little fan base. Um, it's from the J Japan's very own Koro Koro magazine. Um, if you remember in Splatoon One, there was some Koro Koro items, um, Koro Koro branded items, which were awesome. Which I was surprised that made out made it out of Japan, but they're probably my favorite items. Um, uh, and yeah, and. This is where the manga uh, de uh, debuted in, and where it, it runs its chapters, originally, as far as I know. Um, and in one, of, and um, they include some goodies, uh, just not just the manga, but Splatoon. And you might notice here, this is uh, a little uh, paper craft of the main character of the Splatoon manga. His name is Goggles. You see his little uh, splatter shot there. It is he's sitting. There's a little ink tank. Also came with like a little squid. So there's a little squid. That's that sits that sits next to him. So let's put them down there. Um, and then, for some reason, Nintendo likes to release uh, Japanese only um, uh, merchant like gear and game. And this is one of them. Uh, this is the Spy Gear license card. This has a code for an outfit pack. Um, that's, that's exclusive to uh, the Japanese version of, of Splatoon 2. And sadly, this has a code on the back, but it's unused and it's also expired. So I just think just having this is like cool uh, in on itself. Um, so yeah, this is, that's pretty cool. And in one of the magazines, uh, this came with it. It's a little, uh, it's just a little booklet 
um, when Splatoon 2 was first released. Uh, it has, like, tips and tricks, I'm sure. Um, it also has, like, uh, also has, like, m map layouts. Yeah, there we go. Map layouts. Sorry, my camera isn't focusing, but, uh, so yeah, there's, uh, there's that. Uh, and this is really kind of just fun to look through, just for, like, the pictures. But, uh, yes. Um, these magazines, this is the one where the spy gear came in, and it's really, really heavy, and they're huge. Um, and they have, like, all these advertisements in the front. And they're just really, really cool. See, there's one for Smash. There's the Inkling Girl in Smash. Um, this is, like, a kid's magazine in Japan. Um, I think there's... I could be wrong, but I think there is, yeah, you can see Splatoon, the manga. This is where it originally is printed. So that's cool. Um, there is an... Where is it? There's that for Mario Party. <laughs> So yeah, I just, th those are really, those are really neat to have. Um, I only have some of them that have the actual uh, chapters in it, but um, yes. So there actually is, you know, I said that there was one, I said that this was the last thing, but there actually is one more thing that I want, that I want to share, and they're pretty ridiculous. So I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Um, actually, the camera might be in my hand, so sorry for shaky, for, so, so sorry if it's like a shaky video feed, but, um, yeah. Let's show you that real quick. So these are the actual last items uh, in my collection. <laughs> and they're Kelly and Marie pillows. I don't know if there's any more of these, like, that are that don't have Kelly and Marie on them, but, um, I found both of these. I found one on eBay and one on this website called, uh, oops, and one on this website called, uh, Goods Republic. And I don't want to say how much I paid for these. It was probably the same amount as the plushies. Um, so yeah, they're, uh, they're pillows. You can sleep on them, lay on them, do whatever you want with them. And there's Judd on the back of that one. And then on the back of this one, there's the logo. Squidfish's logo. So yeah, these are, these are probably the most weird items that I have. Um, and they're not body pillows. Shh. Uh, th honestly, they're not the greatest pillows. Like, they have this weird material, um, and they're not, like, stuffed very well, but, you know, and I kind of really don't want to lay on them a lot, because, uh, I'm a weird collector, man. So, yeah, this was my entire, that was, that was it. I don't know how long this video is, because I'm honestly had to separate this thing in chunks, but, uh, sorry if it's, like, 40 or 50 minutes, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I hope you have a good day. That's a shitty ending. Uh, but yeah, seriously, thank you. If you stuck around this long, thank you for watching all of my rambles and all of my talkings and everything. I seriously do hope you have a good day.